But she want little of the skate in my X6. Pull up man in blood clear, touch a style. Hashtag show us straight. Portland Eastern. Remember, if you don't. Let me tell you this. Big and straight, my artist. It now go work. Tell your lie, I say. Portland people say it now go work. Scratch, what one? Bless up, bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we see a lot of Portland residents coming at Vibes Cartel since he publicly announced his support for his lawyer, Isaac Buchanan, who is running as the MP candidate for East Portland. So since Anne Marie Vaz, you know, hold that seat and a lot of people on that side support her always. We see some of them are come at Vibes Cartel, but we're gonna talk about a next interview. We see Vibes Cartel address some JLP supporters in saying that him not persuade nobody. We have that coming up as well. Also, being a man shaking up following near miss accident in St. Mary. Also, Shensia and her son Rajir Lee bag major deal with sunshine snacks as regional brand ambassador plus we have something to talk about bunty returning to the uk in november also right here we see some people reacting to vibes cartel and his son little addy well in a vibes to the throwback song pg-13 little vibes little addy put out back then when them said them not just popcorn we're gonna get into that also this photo circulating with bunty and little vibes little addy but then they took now them blending vibes cartel is like you know we see a lot of people are react as them as a grandfather son and grandson you know so people just love the moment vibes cartel release now and them can't wait for vibes cartel link up with bunty or even perform on his upcoming show stay tuned yo reggae media tv better than everything we're bad and we madder than everything we're mad so fans react after seeing vibes cartel touch the road today with his son little addy but you want little addy a skate in my x6 pull up man in blood clear touch a style gonna get into this news right here as entertainer beanie man shaking up following near miss accident in saint mary so as i can see a recent article published by the jamaica glina where veteran dancehall artists beanie man and friends were left shaken up this evening when the driver of the coaster bus they were traveling in had to hit a hard break to avoid colliding with a massive landslide near Castleton in St. Mary. It is reported that they were traveling along the roadway when the driver came upon the landslide. They were heading to Portland where the entertainer was set to perform at the Superstars of Port Antonio Marlin Tournament Entertainment event which is being held at the Errol Flynn Marina in Port Antonio. Initially, the police sources reported that the artist was not injured but that a doctor was placed on standby at the venue as a precautionary measure. As people speaking with the Jamaica Glena at the venue, Beanie Man indicated that he was feeling some pain in his neck, noting that he was thrust forward when the driver slammed on the brakes, adding that the incident came at a time when he was still recovering from minor injuries from a previous accident. So despite the shakeup, the entertainer said he still plans to perform. <laughs> Knowing Beanie Man, that's not surprising. 
So at the end of the article, heavy rains have been found in sections of St. Mary since Monday causing landslides and the flooding of the roadways. So looking at this article right here, we have to big up the driver of the coaster bus because, you know, quick thinking, you have to do more while when you drive. Imagine a landslide, him no panic or nothing. Him see that a command, you know, him just pull brake. And more time when you step on the brakes, suddenly you have to know where you do because the vehicle will get out of control. So big up the driver of the coaster bus, Beanie Man was traveling in. So right here we see Vibes Cartel put out a new photo. It might look a bit different right here. A more grimy look of Vibes Cartel. <laughs> but as we mentioned Vibes Cartel, we see a lot of Portland residents coming at Vibes Cartel since he endorses his lawyer for East Portland seat. Hashtag show us straight. Portland Eastern. Remember, if you don't... Let me tell you this. Big and straight, my artist. It now go work. Tell your liar, say. Portland people say it not gonna work. Cause one thing we do, we are not follow back a one and two. Any superstar can come here. Cause we, we, we all see them and not see them. I saw Portland people say we're not frightened for people. We not run back at people. We not, we, we not get tricked so easy. And the word, most of all, we not switch. We not switch. And Marie Vaz make one was a road can fix round here, water can come in a pipe round here, and the works. Look out a card park, and you will see where we are talking about. Eyes that not have no space no chance yet. So, so tell them, say, Portland say that. Yeah, you get me? I'm out. So, Vibes got a fear artist, and she make him know straight. We see some other reaction from. Portland residents, you know, people from in and around the area on that side. Well, a recent article came out. If you are not aware, Vibe Scottel has publicly announced his support for his lawyer, Isaac Buchanan, who is running as the PNP candidate for East Portland. In an Instagram video, Vibe Scottel endorsed Buchanan and urged Jamaicans to get enumerated. Currently, JLP and Marie Vaz holds the East Portland seat. So, right here, Vibes Cartel stir up some controversy after appearing on stage at the PNP conference. And we see a lot of people saying that it's gonna hard for Isat Buchanan to take that seat because every time when election time come around, and marie no miss the people them always go all out and support her a jlp always a take that seat so we'll see when that time come around so you know what right here vibes cartel stir up some controversy because the people them love and marie down that side differently yes people but for all those who are taking it personal, Vibes Cartel addressed them recently during a Brando Music Review interview. Basically, Vibes Cartel say him no want the JLP supporters get emotional because him support PNP. At the end of the day, we are all one. And, you know, him have him fans them and him not persuade nobody to switch from JLP to PNP. So after a lot of fans speculating since them no see Vibes Cartel and Popcorn link up since his prison release, we see this clip circulating since Vibes Cartel went out the other night, you know, up by 420 Lounge. It's like some fans are reacting since this clip circulating where PG-13 Little Addy Little Vibes did back in the days with the line of the song saying, them not just popcorn. Jano, check this out, people. So, I noticed several persons I mentioned Deva Brat name since Vibes Cartel come out. Remember, Deva Brat and Vibes Cartel, them have them difference, but right here is like this person have a message for Deva Brat, same way, and you know. Vibes Cartel, me not think him really have anything like that against Deva Brat. Same as Deva Brat, because Deva Brat did come out in an interview and speak about certain situations, although they have them difference. Deva Brat, yeah man, me hear what you say about Vibes Cartel, you know. You say the artist and I'm mad and you have so much money in who you and what you do and what you not do. But me blame you, you know. Yeah man, me blame you, man. 
And I'm not defending me, I'm defending cartel, you know. I'm not cartel, I'm a real artist, you know. Chronicle, I'm a real, real artist, and a chronicle, I'm a diarded to the artist, there, you know. Yeah. So I don't know. Defend Gaza thing. I just make you know, say, I blame you, Debra, bro. Because I guess what, no? Nobody name force you to go do what you do. I mean, I tell you this. You see thing when I see one of them grow and I talk about friend, 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 friend and I be yet up on yourself, a prank. There is no such thing as friend. In my term, I just rate you to how you rate yourself. And I deal with you as how you deal with yourself. But remember, I tell you, there is no such thing named friend. Anytime you hear a man say my friend, Remember, a prank. Me know you did not feel me community where highly educated live on the avenue where me live. Highly educated. Go to good school. Subject up. And the boy there in a good job. A job on me. So y'all supposed to say this photo originally with little vibes, little addy and bunty. A lot of fans react back then when Vibes Cartel was in prison. Now as Vibes Cartel released, we say them blend him in right here. This is not the original photo. You know, initially it was Bunty and Cartel Sons. But I guess them just a endorse the unity we see Bunty and the Vibes Cartel have and you know new generation right now which is the grandson I think that is the caption Bunty did put out at the time yeah when Vibes Cartel did lock up and impose this photo say him and him grandson and people already have it that Vibes Cartel is Bunty son musically yeah man so right here we see as Vibes Cartel release a lot of people are react as this circulating so recording artist Shansia and her son Rajero bag major deal with Sunshine Snacks as regional brand ambassadors. Yes people we're gonna get into this article from PrisonMarketing.com where Jamaican singer Shansia and her son Rajero Rajali as we mentioned earlier have taken their dynamic bun to New Heights signing on as official regional brand ambassadors for Sunshine Snacks. The announcement was made during an event at the AC Hotel in Kingston with the snack company eager to showcase this influential mother-son duo in upcoming campaigns. Sunshine Snacks described the partnership as one that would highlight their vibrant energy and relatable family values, a move designed to connect more deeply with younger audiences across the Caribbean. Sunshine Snacks is known for blending tradition with contemporary culture and their decision to collaborate with Shensia and Raj reflects this perfectly. In a statement, the company said, by partnering with Shensia and her son, Raj, we are not only celebrating the importance of family, but also championing the vibrant creativity and cultural expressions that define who we are. The partnership comes at a pivotal moment for the company as its parent brand, Associated Brands Industries Limited, marks its 50th anniversary, with celebrations set to kick off at Shensia's birthday party. The collaboration signals the company's growing investment in Caribbean music and culture. Yes, people, so last night, Shensia celebrated her birthday party in St. Anne. You know, we see clips circulating with Shensia performing and she called out Chronic Law at one point. A lot of people, we see turnout. So along with that, right here, Bunty is set to make a triumphant return to the UK this November with two highly anticipated concerts, marking his first official performances on British soil since the reinstatement of his UK visa one year ago. Yes, people, so Bunty, who had been absent from the UK for 13 years due to visa issues, visited briefly last September for a promotional stint with his collaboration EP Time Bomb with Sham. So 
that was like a promo tour so this return Bunty set to grace the stage at OVO Arena on November 17 as part of the Legends of Legends concert he also said to appear with Beanie Man and Baby Sham. Bunty will also be performing in Birmingham, you know, on November 24, alongside his longtime friend Richie Stevens and emerging artist Willful Skillful. So, right here, Bunty, a lot of people never see him in a long while, you know, 13 years. That's like 13 years, Vibe Scottel not around, a long time that. So, last time we see Bunty appear in the UK. Him just did a do some promo and thing, you know, him a feel out the place and him confirm right here on two events so far. So it's like Bunty set to return to the stage over there. This time something different. Yeah man, so a long time the people them not see Bunty. Remember Bunty always get a lot of love in the UK. Just the other day when Vibes Cartel doing his interview, actually, Bunty did book him up when him say him done with music and him gone juggle with him uncle. You know, Bunty book him up in the UK and tell him if we go back to Jamaica because him glory a wait pan him, him a bad artist and so said so done, Vibes Cartel went back and shortly after that, him get the big bad song, you know, New Millennium. Yeah, so it's like Bunty right here, you know. I go start go back to the UK more frequent. Alright, so bless up on yourself, people. Guidance, protection, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Big up on yourself every time. Guidance, bless up. Scratch, I'm out. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Pada Dan, everything we bad. Are we mad at Dan? Everything we mad. Subscribe now. You hear that?